Have you ever wanted to know why prices go up, how they go up, and how the government calculates them? Well, today I'm going to show you. The answer to these things is called inflation, and I'm going to show you how inflation works. Firstly, let's have a look at why inflation might come about. This is called cost push inflation. We're going to see here a lovely set of trees and a furniture factory. Can you see the furniture factory? Great. So at the moment the price of wood is £75 per tree. Look, looks like there's not much of that forest left. I wonder what will happen when the forest is finished. The lorry now has to go further, so the price of wood has gone up to £100 per tree. And as you can see, that's what we like to call cost push inflation. Now, let's look at the other type, demand pull inflation. Look at that lovely house. Oh, what a fantastic house. For sale at £250,000. This chap wants one. Now, what do you think is going to happen when this lady starts to bid? She's happy to pay £275,000. And as you can see, the price has gone up to £275,000. This is something we call demand pull inflation. So now let's have a little bit of fun. Let's decide if it's cost push or demand pull inflation. Press pause and then I'll tell you the answer. Everybody wants the latest iPhone. Cost push or demand pull? Pause now. Yes, you're absolutely right. This is demand pull. Everybody wants one, so the price is very high. Notice how those uh, other phones are much cheaper. You can buy an Android phone for less than £80. The poor weather has meant lower yields of wheat. Cost push or demand pull? Pause. Yeah, this is cost push because the farmers' costs have gone up quite significantly. And the final one. Dun 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 dun. OPEC has decided to reduce drilling of crude oil. Cost push or demand pull? Pause now. This is a bit of a tricky one because OPEC isn't actually increasing its cost by doing this. So it's actually demand pull. By reducing the actual supply, they're hoping to increase demand. How is it calculated? Let's have a look how inflation is calculated. The government makes a list of products, a basket of goods. It then checks the price with the list one year ago. They then get weighted and the percentage change is the inflation rate. Some may ask, well what happens if they change the list of products? Well, the list of products changes what's inflation. So it's really important that the government selects the right products that are important to people. Yes, it can be manipulated. One final piece of information. What is this great index called? Well, it's called the Consumer Price Index. So, there you go. Now you know what inflation is and how it happens. Thank you for listening.